Okay, we are going to write our own function. Okay, I broke it up to into three steps. Um, first step is you must declare the function. Step two is you must actually code the function or write the function. And then step three will be where you call your function. Okay. So the program is the user is going to enter two values into the edit boxes. Then he's going to click on the call function button. And it's going to call the function. And it's going to add the two values together and send me back the value uh, to display in the label one. Okay, so to declare the function, you just type function under private of the form, then the function name, then the parameters that you are going to need. Okay, so to add it to, to the two values, you are going to need two integer values. Okay, so inum is going to be integer and inum2 should also be integer. And this over here is the return type. Okay, so the function is going to do something and then it's going to send back a value. And that value, the data type of that value will be integer. Okay, so if you're done with the declare your function, you can just type control shift C. Let me just show you. So this was wasn't here. Control shift C. It will auto complete the rest of the function for you. Okay. Then you can just code inside uh, the function. Okay, but I'm gonna remove that again. Okay, so step two, now you must code your function. So I'm going to say inum1 plus inum2 is equals to the result. So this is what will be sent back. Okay, step three. So three is when you call your function. So I'm going to take the value that the guy entered into the edit box, put it in iVal1, uh, take the value in edit2.txt, put it in iVal2, and then when you call the function, you call it by its name. So the name of the function was add, so you say add. As soon as you type in add bracket, it will show you that you need to enter two integer values. Okay, so I gave it the value iVal1 and the value iVal2. So this one is going to send, going to be sent to iNum1. And this one will go to iNum2. So iNum1 plus iNum2 and then the value will be sent back into iTotal. Okay, and then I'm going to display iTotal in label 1. and a three so when I click over here okay so the function is already declared the coding is ready there but it's not called yet so this this coding is not executed yet as soon as I click on this function button call function is going to call the function is going to do the coding in here and it's going to send back the value the answer okay so it's eight another thing that you can use to send back you can maybe use the name of the function. You can also use the name of the function to send the value back to the main button.